Hey guys, what is up? It's Mr. Founder Orjo here. How are you guys doing today? Um, me and Perplex are in um, in game right now. We're, we're in Destiny. Um, but we want to talk about a little bit of FFA and what FFA is. Um, so Gabe, I, you remember the original five founders? Yup. I, well, at least three of them I know. It was me, you, and... And um, people who didn't stick around, but that's those, those were the original five founders, and yeah, that was, that's how um, it was back in 2014 when we first actually started FFA, which was amazing. Um, I think we were just pissed because we kept on getting into clans that we we just hated, like they were not they were not that fun, so we wanted to change it. To yeah. It. So we made our own clan, yeah, um, and we, FFA meant uh, Five Founders Association. At one point or another, we had, um, what was it, Four Founders Association, and um, we just didn't like it. Yeah, eventually I was, I was thinking of changing it back to Three Founders even, but once again, we didn't like that, we just kind of stuck with the Five Founders thing. But it means a little bit more uh, than a more literal sense for I don't need five pounds. It's more than five pounds. Yeah. Um. And, and it's good um. I remember when we first started it. Um. And we were talking for a good week on the name. It was just. I think that was like the hardest thing we had in the the um in the community to figure out. And I think that was the hardest thing to figure out. Um. Back in 2014, when we first made FFA, it was actual clan. It was a legitimate clan. Um, we we did the. It was it was basically XGN with a different name, like. Yeah. It really was. We realized, and then I think it was actually Will. But they told us they kind of gave us a wake-up call. Or Willard was it? He was the one who said he was sick of XGN like plans and the organization. And that's when we kind of not not necessarily but like the, the, the ranks and all that track. I'm sure we have our founders, but co-founders. That's just that's like fun. yeah. <laughs> so right after that, um, we shut down FFA. Uh, we had a couple members here and there, um, friends that kind of just kind of hung out with us and stuck with us um, because they're friends. Um, true friends always stick together. So those guys kind of just kind of hung out here and there and relaxed with us. Um, we, we became a club and Becoming a club was completely different than becoming a clan. Um, the club is going to be able to do a lot more than a clan. Um, like right now, one of our biggest roles is to have fun, travel, have fun. Like you can go to clans. Um, it, you can go belong to a clan and still be able to hang out with us in FFA. We're a club, not not a clan. Um, and that's what some people don't understand or won't ever realize that you don't have to be a clan to have a, a grown community and stuff like that. So basically, we, we, we were done with um, any type of name with clan because just people didn't like it. Um, we didn't like it. And clans do... Um, stuff that we didn't want to do or we didn't like the idea of doing because basically we wanted to be able to open our doors and have multiple different people to be able to come in and out and have fun. This basically meant you can go to, you can be in FFA and go to KOG. You can be in FFA, go to GRM. You can be in FFA, go to XGN and stuff like that. Um, go over to those people. Um, and we, we won't care. And that's one of the things that 
people won't understand and get because they just haven't been in that type of situation where they were able to do that or um, into a community that allowed them to be able to have fun and not be ranked on how good they are or um, where they are in a community. Over here in FFA, I am one of the five original founders with Gabe, um, which is Perplex, and Legion Ranger, which is Felipe. Just being able to um, be being um, a part of something like that was just, it was very meaningful. Um, and being able to have my friends that are like family to me with me to do it. It was just, it was just so amazing. And now, because I'm that type of person, I, I, I can sit down and like edit videos, um, produce videos, or anything like that with, how? With other people. And Gabe, I know that's, that's completely you too. You love making videos for other people or making videos in just general even if it's not for yourself. Um, I, I enjoy making videos. I think live streaming and podcasting is a little bit more on my side than anything, but yeah. So having FFA Club Studios made it completely different where we can um, interact with other communities, make, um, make content for other communities, and make money off of it as well but yeah i think having a community wide um of uh, people that can edit can do all of that it's just it's it's purely amazing all right guys so five founders association gabe what does that really mean to you i just quick question what does this really mean to you it's just a platform to to have fun with other people and like just enjoy time, make new friends, meet new friends, and it allows the freedom to like, um, it's perfect for like clan hopping, you know, figuring out exactly where you want to be while still having that little platform group of you know, people to hang out with. Problem is, um, with Xbox One, unlike the 360, which was a monumental success with how social it was. Oh, it was yeah, by far. Social console that I've ever played on. Like, I met so many new people, made so many new friends on that console. Well, it's different than Xbox One now. Now, there's not nearly as much social uh, so, uh, socializing because it, they've, they've just... I don't know what it is about it. They just... I don't know. They... Actually, I do. There's, there's a lot of different changes that they said. Like, there's, like with uh, lobbies, uh, games, too, that they've made. Uh, like, the new Call of Duties, they made it very very little game chat you know force game chat is not there anymore like yeah uh, that's just like a call of duty example but like it's with many other games too and it's really unfortunate now that that being said i agree it is totally good to look for um friendships i just pulled up the ranks i want to tell you them um the best the biggest rank there is is the five founders um this is not necessarily five people. Um, this is just mindset of an odd number of people being able to hang out, um, being able to help agree on something that will benefit the community in its own way. Um, the next rank is um, FFA Studio Team. Now, this is not Technically, it's this really isn't a rank. This is just basically showing our studio team. Now we could put media team, but I don't like that because they're not a media team. They are studio, um, and they they work as a team. Um, now the next couple ranks I'm about to um, say are not kind of ranks. These are for the competitive team. You got competitive team captain. Um, um, assistant captain for the competitive team got competitive teammate member and th those three ranks right there is just just 
only for the competitive teams. These just so they can rank themselves. They can do everything for themselves. Now, the next rank in the legitimately underneath the five founders is FFA club member. This means if you're on PC, on Xbox, PlayStation, you're an FFA member. A FFA member on Xbox can be an FFA member on PlayStation and um, PC platforms. It, the next rank under the five founders club members is FFA associate and sponsors. So to basically that is not a rank. That's just showing you um, another part of us. Um, if you guys want to, go check out the website. It should be in the description below. It's, um, I'm just gonna say the uh, link right now. It's ffaclub.clanwebsite.com. Definitely go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and uh, probably an annotation on the screen right now. Now, definitely go check it out. I hope you guys enjoy our website. We put as much hard work, eh, hard work, um, and effort into everything we do, especially on the website, um, especially in our studio team. Um, and I kind of want to give a shout out. Now, this member has been working his ass off, doing a lot of work. Um, he's been helping me with the website. He's been helping me figure out some stuff. <laughs> um, I, I, I definitely want to thank you and uh, I wanted to give you a, a thanks and a shout out in one of these videos um, you know you just you were the member of the week last week um, thank you Lone Wolf Kevin 13 um, I'm hoping that you get on here pretty soon so Perplexio can talk to you um, and get to know you a little bit more to join FFA um, we kind of vote you in we we go we talk to you and we're like hey look who are you just kind of want to know your backstory you sign up on the website you tell us who you are um, and then you're kind of in there's not much to it so I hope you guys enjoyed um, if you guys are checking this out on my youtube channel mr. founder um, I hope you guys are enjoying it um, I'm not sure if this is going up on Perplex's uh, YouTube channel, but if it is, go check out his channel. If not, come check out my channel. Um, go check out FFA's website. This is probably going to be on FFA um, FFA Club's uh, YouTube channel. So go check that out if, if you're not watching it from there. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. And peace.